What's up, internet? Found myself a new toy a couple days ago. That happens to be a motherboard and CPU with a um, AMD K5 PR166, which is a very odd CPU if you ask me. Um, the thing that's weird about these CPUs is that it says 166 on it, if you can even see that. But those things do not run at 166 megahertz or anywhere close, really. It's about 110 megahertz. It's called the PR166 because it's designed to compete with a Pentium 166. In some ways, um, it does. Is in the non-FPU performance, it's actually faster than a 166 Pentium, but FPU stuff, it's way slower. But yeah, they came with this motherboard and 32 megs of RAM, SD RAM it's using. This sound card also came with it. It's a ESS audio drive of some sort. That's actually not a very good sound card. Um, here's the S3 Trio that I shoved in it. This is obviously a temporary case, or overall a temporary computer, since it's in an ATX case. So it's kind of messy. As you can see, the power switch is kind of back here, because don't have anywhere, don't have anywhere else to put it. But yeah. This is a pretty interesting little toy I've been playing around with recently. This power supply I got from uh, my school. They had it sitting on like a shelf for who knows how many years, so I was pretty afraid it was gonna blow up as soon as I plugged it in, but it actually works pretty good. And then I got a Western Digital Caviar drive to go in there. It's a um, 800 megabyte version. A couple of these I've scratched up. I had to tape them shut because this uh, gray tape here actually seals the drive shut. So this drive bay right here it tends to scratch that tape off and um, that really ticked me off <laughs> so I had to tape up a couple drives because of that but yeah let's um, turn this thing on and see what it does even though it's probably not going to be too impressive compared to anything else so here we are in the closet of old computers I guess this is where I'm going to be setting up all my AT systems now except for my um MX200, that's gonna go in the, yeah, my room. But yeah, it's a closet. <laughs> Pretty roomy closet. Anyway, I already have this thing turned on, let's just, um. The other reason I'm making this video is to show off this oddity of a computer, or CPU, specifically this AMD K5. Um, I always thought they were kind of strange. Speaking of strange things, the CD-ROM drives um, doing something. Yeah. That's where that disc went. Anyway, I'll probably do a nicer video for this computer right here. It's kind of a cooler computer. It's a um, AMD K63. I think it's like a, what is it? It's 550 megahertz or something like that. But I'm going to load this thing up. It's got a, um, it's got a Rage in there or something. I don't know what that is. A, a card with a big cooler on it. Yeah, that's the or NVIDIA FX 5200 or something. And I'm going to put a Sound Blaster Audi in there along with this Sound Blaster um, 16 Vibra. And get a whole bunch of compatibilities with old games and newer games and all that. And yeah, it's not looking too bad so far. It just needs a cooler and a better hard drive or a more error correct hard drive, that's like a 30 gig or something like that. All of that would, nah, it's not a 30 gig, that's something bigger. Anyway, this thing has already started up. I also got this mouse at the, um, the store too. It only works with uh, PS2. I tried to put in a PS2 to serial adapter on it and it does not work at all. That's a shame because I wanted to use it on my 486 because it kind of looks like it would be from that time. I don't like uh, swapping out uh, mice a lot. Where's my other mouse that I was using? I don't know. Oh yeah. Grab its gamepad. Okay, anyway. Yeah, the CPU is kind of interesting. We'll get to that later. First of all, this sound card really sucks. It sounds overdriven as hell. So let's turn down the MIDI. notes and then you'll 
notes, find, seem to find that there's wrong notes. Right here. Yeah. It's definitely not the best for FM synth, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, so I don't really like this card for FM synth, otherwise I guess it works alright. Um, definitely not a card I'd use in a... I just love that when, like, your buttons get reversed or something. When Windows 95 thinks that you're left-clicking when you're... Or right-clicking when you're left-clicking. Then you gotta right-click, and then left-click again to make it stop. Anyway, this card does not like Tyrion. Oh, whoops. First of all, you don't hear any sound at all from the FM. Which is a shame, because it has really good music. I guess you could turn on MIDI whatever if you had uh, GM activated sound blaster effects will not work on DMA 0 or 1 at least if it doesn't freeze yeah so DMA 0 and 1 which the card is set to does not work at all okay this is not farts yeah it froze when you tried selecting the zero. I already know it does not work when you try one. So enough trying to play around with this binky sound card. Let's um, try and um, show what the CPU can do. I'm going to run three different games. Doom 2, uh, Duke 3D, and then Quake. Obviously we, we all should know that Quake is not going to run very well because F you. Um, but let's see what the other ones do. I'm going to attempt to play this with one hand now. It's probably way too dark. I'm not saying something when you're holding a camera. Anyway, no one likes the chainsaw, especially with one hand. And the sound just cut out. And this shows you how lovely this sound card is. I'm pretty sure I never got Duke 3D's sound to work correctly either. The, the game runs good though. So now I guess we're gonna try Duke 3D. And this is one of those computers that if you enter like a certain mode, it will make the, the screen freak out. And I hate that. So I'm going to turn this off. Oof. Well, I can't see what I'm doing now, actually. Highlight Duke 3D, turn the screen off. Load it up. <clears throat> and not harm my monitor. So this game doesn't run that, ver that well on this computer. Um, I think it runs better on my Pentium 75, to be honest. And also, I could not get the sound to work. My foot engaged. Actually, I don't know. I think this might be running in 640 by 480, so that might be why. Um, whatever. Just to say it can run Duke 3D, because um, I'm pretty sure this is in a higher resolution than standard. So that's why it's running like crap. Oh. That's, I'm not going to get that rocket launcher this time. I'll just kill this guy. If I can find my buttons. So yeah, it runs Duke, or Duke obviously, since it's like a non-FPU type game. Nope. Anyway. Time to not kill my monitor again. Oh, it worked. Okay. Hey, that's not bad. That's not too bad at all. I'm actually kind of surprised. It's on the little, little bit of the choppy side, but it's playable. Yes, I'm going to go down the easy skill hall because I'm playing with one hand. And because I don't care. But yeah, 
seems to be running all right. Um, if I can control this, jump across. I didn't know I could jump across. Well, it's not too bad. So I guess for like uh, pretty much any type of DOS game, this thing will run it. I don't know about Tomb Raider though. Um, and also, no, it will not ride uh, or it not will not play Redneck Riot or Redneck Rampage rides again, which is Redneck Rampage 2, because that won't work on my Pentium 2 properly. Given it's a laptop, but still. And my Pentium MMX 200 does not run it either. Um, I can't look up. But anyway, yeah, that's just a little oddity of a computer. Kind of weird, considering the uh, clock speed that it runs at. And also, um, please exit the game first. I did, though. Oh, whatever. But yeah, considering that the clock speed is running at 110 megahertz, I think. It's, uh, kind of fast for that. It's comparable to the Pentium 166. My cousin has one of those. I might have to play around with one of those, that, real quick. But, anyway, I'm trying to get this thing, still this thing's cooler, and try and make this thing work right. And play more Pentium 75. Because it has a better sound card that actually works. But, yeah. Stay away from that sound card. But, get one of those CPUs, because they're kind of cool. Anyway, that's enough. That's about it for this, um little odd computer or not so little odd computer at its current state nah. it does have ps2 though i didn't think i mentioned that that's pretty cool i like ps2 but ps2 keyboard might might have been nice too that's about it so i guess i'll talk to you later